Higher airfares and hotel costs are not slowing down the summer uh, travel surge. Let's welcome Priceline CEO Brett Keller. Uh, Brett, thanks for joining us. In, in, in the past, you would almost say that when people want to take a vacation, it, it's kind of inelastic, always, through, through ups and downs of, of the economy. It's important. I would think that, that that's even more important at this point, given that we've all been cooped up uh, for a couple of years. So it, it seems like it, it, you could even have even higher prices wouldn't cut down on people's plans. Well, uh, that's true, at least for right now, from what we've seen, it's obviously going to be an, an extremely busy 4th of July weekend. And I think that sets up a very busy summer, whether you're driving or whether you're flying in, in light of very high costs, right? We've seen the numbers, flight prices up 29% year over year, uh, hotel prices up, uh, you know, in similar fashions, close to 20% year over year. So consumers are swallowing those, eating those prices, and they're determined to travel and you know, people want to be entertained this 4th of July. It's evident by the cities where they're traveling to. They're looking for music shows, big fireworks, entertainment. And so, you know, they're heading to Las Vegas and New Orleans, New York, all of the big markets where you would expect people to travel in a healthy economy. Brett, it's not across the board. I, 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 um, maybe it's across the board for travel, but there are other pockets in the economy that don't look like they're holding up quite as well. Is that is that fair to say? And in we do have the Fed involved now, and we do have, uh, you know, we're, we're seeing some, weak, some weakness in, in bond yields, uh, some strength in the price. In other words, the 10 years below 3 percent again, which seems to indicate concerns about growth. But you don't think that that's going to move over to the travel side of things? Well, listen, it, it, it's a healthy travel economy at the moment, right? And there's a lot of signals in the market that are telling consumers that they need to pull back. But clearly right now, at least, travel is being prioritized throughout the summer. And we'll have to see what happens as we move out of summer and how consumers react once they have their summer vacations. But for now, clearly, experiences are at the top of their list. And as you can see, you know, looking at June occupancy levels from uh, market data, you know, hotels are almost 71 percent full. And that's a significant gain over last year, and we're reaching close to 2019 levels. Obviously, the airlines have had to pull back on supply. So there's fewer planes in the sky, roughly 5% fewer planes, yet they're packing people in, up to 88% load factors. And so at 88%, that is a very full flight schedule, which means that there's going to be a lot of bumps and movements that impact consumers as they travel through these holiday periods. But, you know, consumers are going to have to know, obviously address these high prices. And there's a number of things that historically consumers have done to deal with this, right? They'll start to do things like trade down when it comes to the quality of the hotel they stay, they'll stay in. They'll invest less in the actual entertainment, but still take the trip uh, with their families or, you know, by themselves. So consumers learn how to deal with these higher prices by making adjustments in the way that they travel.